I was just my black ass up. Fine, he was smoking dick. Smoking, you smoking when I'm smoking. What the fuck? Time slathered on time. Time slathered on time. Time slathered on time. Time slathered on time. All right, all right. This thing is awesome. Yes, sir. Why didn't those officers make sure people at least park like they had some sense? The That's officer didn't did. park like they had sense. That's why. That he can't can't argue with that logic there. You cannot argue with that. Crazy. I need to get what you, what I hey, 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 let's make sure these cars inside. are parked correctly outside of here, right? Ah, damn, it's a car on the hill, man. What in the world? You can't, you can't even tell it. Judge, how you doing, how you doing? Green hair, bro. <laughs> Hey bro, free my guy, bro. bro hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. 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 Hey, can you see now, sir? Can you see now, sir? How the fuck I get shot in the courtroom, man? You trying to move again? Can I come in here? <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about this nigga. I'm saying, bro, let the nigga do his job, bro. Fuck. Sit chair, gang. Sit chair. I want to sit by the judge, ball headed ass. Nah, dang. I'm sorry, I'm at Tobo. I'm charged with it. Seen a discovery, talked to a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Come on, dummy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. I saw that. You got to be told us our charge. I'm gonna say, like, you gotta stop here. Yeah, Megamon. Uh, you realize, you realize hit the lawyer. back wall, hit the back wall. You're looking at Megamon. Right? Oh, yeah, like Steve Harvey. Hey, uh, aren't you the same cop I seen in the precinct earlier shooting that cop right there and then also dragging him to you the hospital? You gotta go. Hey, Drizzy sells combat. You know what's going on? Drizzy sells combat. You know what's going on? 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 Free my man, dog. You right, Chris. You right, Chris. Go on, push it. Make sure y'all think about the spot right here next to me. Push it, dog, nigga. That chief. Spot right here next to me, bro. Make sure y'all eat and drink, all right? Everybody good on food? Appreciate you, man. I got shot in the courtroom. I ain't gonna lie, we going to jail. That's crazy. We got you, man. Hey, 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 Yo, excuse me, officer. Can we come? Thank you. Going on, sir. Okay, can't go inside. Uh, yeah, red shirt. Step over here. Hey, Agent Ripley, I'm down at the courthouse. Where are you? I'm right down the road. I'm I'm actually running right up right now. All right, I'm um I'm outside waiting on you. Fantastic. I think I see. All right.
You didn't have a riot down here? No. Wow. It's okay though, I needed the extra steps. Alright. All those damn milkshakes you gave me. Fuck him out here, bro. Hey, hey, got fake Steve two milk dugs. Stupid yes, ass. <laughs> Fuck around with this nigga, man. Make sure no one up there with you. Okay, appreciate it. You doing what you know you did? Nobody said anything. What the fuck did I do? Hey, 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 Samuel. Hey, listen. Hey, big mama, hey, big mama hey, with strawberry. Hey, we need order in this court. If you speak out of turn, you will be prosecuted. Adrian, let me get up ahead, bro. Okay? Silver Max. Say, Samuel. Judge Matthew. Yeah, Judge I'm hey, officers, on I need y'all to keep an eye out on who's out outbursting, you hear me? Once you see them guys outbursting, please if arrest them and get them up out of here. To go ahead and escalate. Yeah, nah, you might not wear magic like that, man. In the middle of the hallway like that. Uh, let me get Sound like one of the um ones that's getting prosecuted. Yeah, she said speedy Michael? trial. That's what the um that's what the chief said. <clears throat> speedy trial. <laughs> Is it that fake ass maker talk talk, bro? A lot of game thing here, boy. Hey, 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 excuse me. Um, assistant please, chief, right acting right. chief, could you put that cigarette out in this courtroom, please? I think he's a what commander. What you say? What you say, Potter? <laughs> Whatever his name is, Drizzy. Let me get another gun, bro. Oh, Whoa, that nigga tripping. Here, I'm gonna do this guy thing. You got one more time. One more time. That's wild. I'm fucking back like they got some sense in this courtroom. Max and this bitch coming like. Danny. <laughs> I'm like, your name's Danny. <laughs> is the judge hair really that shiny or is it just me? <clears throat> Whoa. That bitch is shiny. Huh? I just wanna know why I haven't told him. What the fuck? What? Is he gonna talk? Or told what I'm being arrested for. I'm sorry I lied to you, Martin. I just want to clear as it was all now. I'll dumb ass up over there. Who the fuck was this bald ass judge? All these other phone? cases. I'm sorry I lied to you, Martin. Who are we waiting on? Who Okay, we locking the door. No more people coming in. <laughs> 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 10 4 lock front door, same hey, man, doors. Hey man, the call would have hit another cackle. Please scour over there. Anybody speaking out of turn, please get him up out of here. I had you on action, man. All doors locked? Okay, who was the bailiff? Where's the bailiff? Nope. Uh, 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 hold on, come here. Hold on, hold on. How are you gonna take a plea deal? I don't know why I'm here. How you gonna fucking you ready? You ready, judge? Hey man, I'm I ready. don't represent myself. We need order in the court. The fuck right, right, listen. Order, order in the court. <laughs> These niggas crazy, bro. All right, this is the honorable judge Wrinkley. All right, court is now in session. All right. Um. No stand up. A, a number. Hey, if you speak, if anybody else speaks out again. While this man is talking in quarters in session, we will be booked to the maximum. It's just be quiet and wait for your time for your time to try. You represent yourself, I have a judge, or whatever you need to. But be quiet for right now. Understood? I'm gonna try now. Y'all be quiet. It's in session. Thank you, there, Chief. Appreciate you. Be quiet in the back as well. If you're if you're if you're just a, a, a somebody just watching, and observing, be quiet. side talk, please. Let us get through this. Okay. We got a number of cases on the docket. Right, I'll be quiet. Soleil, um. Make sure you shout him, please, Judge. I thought all doors was yes, locked. How niggas still walking in this bitch? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've yes, got a number of cases on the docket today. Um, uh, Special Agent Ripley. Yes, Judge. Who will be trying first today? Mr. Mike Garatino. Mike Garatino. Garatino. Gar Garatino. Mike G. 
Mike G. Garitano. Garitano. Gar yes, that's that's Gar it. Garitano. Garitano. Gar Garitano. Gar Garitano. 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 Get it right, <laughs> Gar Garitano. Garitano. Gotcha. You need him on the stand. Mike Garitano. Okay. Mike Garitano. And who's here to represent it. Mr. Mike Garitano? We'll be representing from Strawberry. Please introduce firm. yourself. I'm Big Mama, represent uh, Strawberry's Law Firm. <laughs> Big Say Mama. One more time. Big Mama. Big Mama representing Strawberry's Law Firm. Sure, you lost the case right there. Do you need Mr. Mike up here? Yeah. Understand? We need, Mr. Right, we need Mr. Mike next to his attorney. Who is that standing next to her now? Somebody that don't need to be standing there. Please get that, the clients next to that attorney, please. This is uh, attorney Yanni Cato for sure. Are you, Are you representing Mike? that young man? Yes or no? Yes, I'm actually assisting. Okay, so we just, need... Just step to the side real quick. Step to the we side. Need, we need, need the assistant here right now. Go in there, Mike. Okay, so you know what you're doing. Go in there. He's trying to act like somebody heard right, him. Before you sit down, should I just get you to raise your hands like this real quick? Be sure to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guys. That nigga not even on the stand. All right, you may be seated. Hey, hey, Mr. Mike, make sure you are shouting, please. That goes for everybody else. I don't want to keep saying it again. Just please God. check. Make sure you're shouting, please. God, just stand. Yeah, you, 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 you can, can stand, stand, but make sure you are shouting. Appreciate you. I'm shouting clearly. now. Okay, Loud special, and clear. Yeah, yes, sir. Special Agent Ripley, could you please read off the charges for Mr. Mike Galatino? Garitano. Gar Mr. Mike Gariano. Garitano. Gar <laughs> Gary's fine. Okay. Uh, Gary. <laughs> he is officially being charged with uh, possession with intent to distribute. Uh, a kingpin charges essentially, as well as conspiracy to murder for hire. How many grams are we talking about? Uh, in total, he was in possession of 7,000 grams, so seven God. bricks of heroin, five from the initial purchase, 1,000 that he got from uh, an additional exchange. Uh, and then another one that he purchased to go to the quote unquote brick party at the Bahama Mamas. <laughs> hey. Charges do fall up under the kingpin status in the federal court of law, right? That is correct. Okay. All right, you can proceed with the case, Special Agent Ripley. Any evidence that you would like to present at the right, moment? Right quick, Judge. Uh, yes, actually. Um, let's go ahead and start off with the section judge where it shows hey, special hey. agent Watkins. Agent Ripley, one second. Judge? Yes, sir. Um, we don't know if they um, accepted or with um, or declined um, the plea agreement. Oh, some plea agreement that um, offered? Yeah, it was, it was a plea agreement in place. We don't know if they accepted or declined it. What is the plea Mama? agreement? Yes. Um, yes that, that's your, your lawyer. familiar with the plea agreement? Yes, he has. I'm familiar with the plea agreement. Is, is it still a stand that we discussed in the FBI headquarters, or has something changed since then? Um, nothing's wow. changed right now. We so just nothing's changed. All right. So we had a plea deal, if I'm not mistaken, of a thousand months in lieu of kingpin charges and asset wipes. Um, that that is correct. But he is right. to plead uh, guilty of all charges. All right. Prosecuting side, y'all 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 okay with this? Correct. Yes. Oh, Mike. Mr. Mike. Yo. Gary. 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 Gary going to jail and having an asset wipe as well as kingpin charges and murder And charges. to be clear, the asset wipe includes all vehicles, homes, cash, savings yes. account, cryptocurrency. I'll take the plea deal. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. 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 So I have to ask you this, Mike Arizano, um, yep. no one has forced you to take this plea. No one offers you anything on the side or made you take this plea. You're doing this on your own will in the court. 
Correct. All right. Let the court reflect that Mr. Mike Garazano decided to oh take the plea gosh. agreement to a thousand months. Um, and the court no, will accept his plea. All right. Officers, you can escort yes. Mr. Mike out of here and get his time started. Not right now. We can. Uh, Judge, the next case on the docket, I believe, is going to be for Mr. Victor Petrov, but the, o the o evidence is overwhelming. Served. I'm going to need a brief recess mm -hmm. to gather everything and post it in a way that everybody yeah, is able to view. How long of a recess do you need, Mr. Just give me like, Just give me like five minutes, and I'll start populating everything there. Five um, minutes recess in the courtroom is crazy. Active. Do so, so you want to see if he wants to take the plea or go to trial first? Yeah, we can. Oh, that way you don't waste your time. Yeah. Um, one, one second, Judge. Who is representing Mr. Judge, could you, could, you, could you ask him if he wants to plead guilty or not guilty first? I don't know. He did say he may not want representation. guilty or not guilty. Victor, are you still uh, wanting representation Listen, or are you wanting to represent yourself? I'm not going to plead guilty for something I don't even know what I'm being charged for. All right, it is. So, okay, so sirs, right, let's go. Let's go, Judge. Any disturbances in this courtroom, okay. you please you like give them calm, sir, and get them up out of here. We can't give them calm, sir, so we got to keep them here. Okay. Get them up out of here. Well, get them up out of here then. Especially if they're yes. not a defendant, get them up out of here. That time, uh, included, aware that that time served will be included in your plea deal that they were yep. bargaining for us. I'll just say if, 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 if they if they're literally doing anything, I'm just if we can do that. Let's go have right. a discussion. Yep. Let's have anyone a that interrupts anyone, anyone that gets out of order, let's go have a discussion. Cuff them and bring them outside. All right. All right. Which way are we going to go, advisors, so we can uh, have a You guys a can go upstairs. Sorry, There's chambers. Uh, All right. Hey, dude, that 2000 was in place of a band, nigga. Strawberry's not coming. Okay, let's go. These niggas caught cases, boy. Yo, Draco. Okay, Draco. Highly plausible that he might be taking this to court. Okay, if he does, then. very agitated. If he does, we're going to give him the book and um ask it to wipe him. Absolutely. Okay. So I think uh, if you want to take lead on this one, I think if he does decide to take it, we'll go over your evidence first where uh, we established that we were going undercover. All right. Uh, and the placement of the body cam and all that. He's going to argue entrapment. All right. <clears throat> hey, agent. Yeah. I heard you had a little accident in the... Yeah, where go you? press Y. And where? You said in where? Yep. <laughs> I said in, in the jet. Shoes off, oh, I did. I did. It was horrible. You know how much that's going to cost the department? <sighs> Don't even remind me. This should look like that. Absolutely insane how you buy those things wow. like that. What, what happened? The, the longitude latitude um lever it, it wasn't agreeing mm -hmm. with me you gotta calculate the velocity before you you know what i mean if you don't use a pythagorean theorem to calculate the angle absolutely it's, just, it's gonna throw the, the circumference off absolutely centrifuge yeah I, I can only imagine hopefully you know they're able to get a new flux capacitor for it officer can you yeah um, i'm sorry what the hell are y'all for <laughs> you will be sweated out First last warning. Alright, bro, you got it. Don't trust it, just watch that. It's a long shirt, bro. That's what I'm saying. Shirt right here, with no shirt on. Shirt on, please. Who talking? Back up, brother. Back up. Back up. Back up. Shut up. I'm putting the shirt on, bro. Too late for that. You goddamn idiot. You're in here with no shirt on in the first place. It's the courthouse. See me outside. See me outside. See you outside. See you outside. And man, I told you before you went in there, you need to get your shirt on. I told y'all twice to put y'all shirts on, bro. It's a courtroom, bro. It's a courtroom. I told you the judge won't To be in here without a courtroom in the first place is crazy. That is disrespectful to the court. Hold on, officers, don't follow me. Let me search this guy. Fucking idiot, man. I told him. I told his ass. Okay, you don't have anything on you. I'm an innocent man, bro. All right, that's cute. I don't think the judge gonna like that. All this is contraband where you're going, though. Oh, 
I can go back in the corner room, bro. No, you cannot. Can I put on a shirt, bro? I'll go buy a shirt real quick, come back. No interrupting the judge uh, either. Can someone go see, make sure he's not handcuffed at comms, sir? Thank you. Gotcha. Oh, oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah, Rat, yeah, Rat, why are you here? It's past five do? minutes. Man, man, you want to go ahead and put your phone up right here, sir. Go ahead and put your phone up. Look, the nigga walk up on me and say, you know, Draco? Hey, look, I ain't gonna ask y'all again. Put your phone away. Yeah, they take the plea deals, <laughs> and put on, they're about? not gonna get their assets wise. If, if you take it in court and fight the case, uh -huh. and they're proven to be guilty, Thank you. then that's a lawyer. They said that, you know, it's gonna happen. Put your okay. tanks away in the courtroom, bitch. If, uh, if they're found guilty while you're fighting, this is gonna be, um, you know how much the fee is for this court case. It's gonna be substantial. All right. We'll do what we could do. Um, uh, we're ready we, whenever uh, you guys are. Yeah, so is he uh, not accepting the deal then? He's not accepting the deal. Okay. Perfect. Oh, so if he's not accepting the deal, Judge, we are prepared to uh, go ahead and prosecute this case uh, with the recommendation for the penalty being 2,000 months in assets uh, forf forfeiture. Thank you. Let's proceed. Uh, Agent Watkins, you want to start with the opening statement while I get all this together? All right, I'll start. <clears throat> Have I received the evidence for him, um, Strawberry? Because I don't think I've saw Victor's. Okay. You haven't gotten the evidence for Victor. Would you like to just let him do his opening statement and then you should be able to review it in the meantime? Just give me one moment. Can you send the it evidence to Big is Mama a absolutely overwhelming. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Let me know when I can proceed with the opening uh, statement. Are you putting it in a place that is right under there on his name? Yes. Oh, you just haven't put anything in there yet? No, I'm... Well, take your time. Uh, take your time. Just time. Make sure I saw the right place. Let me know when I can proceed with the opening statement. <clears throat> you are, you're allowed to proceed. Judge, this man right here who was attempting to run for mayor of the city of Los Santos is a criminal. And he has amb ambitions on being the biggest criminal that Los Santos has ever seen. While being undercover with a secret body cam on me. And if um, the lawyers need to see that, I can show them I can show them the whole setup of that, uh, setting that up beforehand. While being undercover, I learned a lot about Mr. Victor. He flew to an island with me. He bought heroin with me. He had plans to take this whole city over and be the um, sole distributor of all the heroin that enters Los Santos. Mr. Victor agreed to throw in something called a brick party, meaning you have to buy a brick before you come in the door. This was his idea. This was not his idea, but he's, he agreed to it. It was his idea to take over the city. And supply everybody with heroin. Gotcha. <clears throat> Not only that, he also informed me that he has three other brothers that would kill, that would sell heroin, and do anything to see the family on top. He has no remorse for none of the things that he's done on the streets that he's told me about. He is a callous criminal. And we're ready to prove that here today. We need him off the streets. Okay. To the um, defendant, lawyer, Miss Big Mama, you have a uh, opening statement. Yes, yes, I do. Um, today, what we're about to do here is prove that Mr. Victor is none of the things that uh, the DA is trying to paint him out to be. What we have is no evidence from the beginning of the interaction with the UC to the time when they're making these assumptions 
that he ever wanted to purchase or really wanted to agree to do anything that is said I object, in the Your Honor. of him today. This is a this is an opening statement objection. I object. Completer opening statement, sir. The the opening statement is false. I override that objection. You can speak your opinion afterwards, <laughs> sir. Yes. You have a person, a strange person, coming to a man who is trying to run for mayor of the people. You have a person of our city coming to him, wanting to befriend him, and then saying, here, take this dope off of me. Would you not fear to say no on an island stranded by yourself with a stranger, and you're the mayor running for the mayor of a city this big? Listen, what we're going to prove here today is that these detectives... The DA set up my client and falsely entrapped him in this situation, and he feared for his life, gave him no time to even return the items that was given to him without his consent. All these other things I'll see with the evidence. This will be proven to be innocent. I'm sure of it. All righty, Dan. How would the prosecutors, hey. how would the prosecution like to proceed? We would like to proceed with evidence your honor and that's it she All said right. that this man was um in fear for his life i never posed a threat she said that this man had received um materials without his consent he guided me to the trunk to put the um items in multiple right. times and he also came to the party now judge if oh. you were on the island stranded once you get back to your homeland would you still deal with the person that had you in such fear would you still answer the phone for this person? As mayor, would you knowingly deal with the drug dealer without having some type of law enforcement involved? We're we're, we're willing to show the evidence of that today. All right. Let me know when y'all can proceed to look at the evidence. Let us know, Agent Ripley, when we can look at this evidence. And um, if I might ask, could you please describe in short detail what this evidence ensued before I take a look at it, please? Absolutely. So each piece of evidence that I am uploading to the website, I put a brief description right underneath it okay. um, just so that you could see. There is a lot of evidence, so that's why it's taking me a moment to compile it all here. We were under the impression that Mr. Victor would both be uh, representing himself and taking a deal, which is no longer the case. So, um bear with me but the first two pieces are there which so show uh there. that mr victor okay. with mr victor well mr victor they could object to it however you did change your mind in fact i'm sure everybody here in this court was witness to you saying that you wanted to represent yourself am i incorrect in that so i mean while they could object um be, what i just what i'd like to say judge, not me what sure, I'd like I, to hey, say... Hey, 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 Mr. Victor, any more outbursts from you, sir? I will hold you in contempt of court. I apologize, hey. Judge. Uh, what I'd like to say is that the two pieces of evidence that are there now show that Victor both willingly got into the vehicle with Agent Watkins uh, um, before proceeding with any transaction. He was never coerced. He was never... A gun was never put to his head. Uh, none of that happened. So... Uh, let me go ahead and post the additional evidence here and Agent Watkins, if you'd like to uh, just commentate on um, what's there. Give me a moment. to will take a look at this evidence. All right. I'm going to review it as well. AT Shan, ready? My brother. Victor. Yeah, I know Vic, of course. He, uh, he fuck around with That's that my shit? Brother. That's my brother. Uh, I ain't going to lie. That nigga been on the campaign run, so he probably ain't fucking with it. All right, bet. I'm going I'm to holler. Let him and sit, man. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let him and see. But right, I got bro. one of my other brothers. I want to put you. I want to introduce you to. He, he flying in soon, so I want to definitely, you know, what I'm saying, put you down with him too. What's his name? What's your brother T Shine, bro. He know I'm good people. Hey, let Fat Boy come over here. Bust a move, man. I'm right here in the red, eye, my G. Who's this? Hey, come over here. It's D Money. D Money. Hell no, nah, D Money. Hey, look, jump in right quick, Victor. Let me how that just too many people right here, bro. Hit it, bro. Hit it, bro. Hey, call, call, call your man's T Shine. Ask for my good people, man, before I even open my mouth. Well, my brother was back there. Yeah, you said what? My brother was just back there in the floor. Okay. Mm, okay. 
I took a look at the first two videos evidence that you guys collected. One, I would just give I just give a brief summary of everything that I've seen in these videos. One, prosecution was talking to the undercover was talking to a Mr. T Shine when the Victor name was um two Victor willingly getting in a vehicle of an undercover federal officer. Willingly. What was discussed, I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure we'll get to that point. Um, the defendants, I'm pretty sure you've seen the evidence. Um, Mrs. Big Mama, do you have anything you want to say about that? I didn't see. Big Mama. Yes, I looked at the evidence. My apologies. I looked at the evidence, and what I'm seeing here is that um, Victor was very hesitant with all interactions. He questioned who you were or who the agent was several times before entering the vehicle. He hesitantly drove away. He also required that you confirm the person, the undercover agent, confirm who he was with the actual um with one of his uh, so-called brothers before you would even, um, before he would even leave with this guy. There was no, I saw no, I saw nothing. Hmm. Yeah, there was nothing mentioned about any type of drugs that were going to be sold to him. There was no uh, awareness of Victor of as him of doing yet, anything. That evidence nefarious. hasn't been forth yet as of yet i'm pretty sure they have something along that line where there's going to put it. but you you keep mentioning um hesitation um which i believe is really like a non-factor because if someone hesitates to shoot someone but still shoot someone is he a murderer yes he is Jeff. as far as him being a mayor and being uh cautious about who he interacts with he needs to it's um quite understandable yeah, he has to give people a chance. So sure, you may not have saw the caution as in his actions, but uh, as an attorney and a person who's with him often, I know how Victor behaves around people who he's comfortable with, and that interaction was not one that is a comfortable interaction. I he object, Judge. Feeling, feeling, it, feeling out. What what's going objection, on here. Sir? I object on the basis that she's saying anything, Judge. You're. <laughs> I You're a pretty nice man, you. Judge. You're a pretty nice man, Judge. I, I, I believe. Invalid objection. I believe that you give people a chance, Judge. I believe you're a pretty nice man. But does that mean that you get in the car with strangers? <sighs> what would you get in the car with a stranger? Or would you tell that yeah. man if he wants to talk to you to step out the car and talk to you like a man? He, he's implying. He's implying. He's implying. Um, he's implying that I, definitely get your. I definitely get your point of view. Let her pitch her argument. And then we'll go from there. Um, is that is that all that you wanted to say at the moment? Uh, because I'm pretty sure more evidence is coming. I mean, based on the evidence that I'm seeing right now, um, when you look at an interaction of a UC from the beginning to the end of the interaction, where you claim the person has uh fallen for the uh the drug sale, mm -hmm. uh. The beginning of this interaction is not cut and dry. It doesn't show me anything that Victor was doing to proceed with selling drugs. We have to consider the entire interaction for him to be considered okay. as Victor is the, the pleading here. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna cut you off. Just let me say this one little piece. Victor is the, pleading the, here that he only proceeded with this out of fear. Now, I'm letting you know that that's what happened. And if we look at the evidence that comes and we actually look at the time between the time the warrant was put out for his arrest i hope really put this evidence in here man the products there was literally not even a sufficient amount of time for him to process what was going on in his life at this moment so inducing the commission of a crime exactly so yes doing a commission of a crime you have to prosecute somebody so that's all i have to say could you repeat that last part please yes and during the commission of the crime this is what we're trying to prosecute. So we, we need the part where I went to and his at house. At this point, this evidence is not showing any crime, but I'll wait to proceed to see the rest of it. And I'm not just trying to say anything. Okay, so. thank you.
thank you. Appreciate you. Special Agent Ripley, uh, could we proceed to look at more evidence? Yes. Um, there are additional pieces there. I'm, I'm still continuing. I mean, okay. like I said, so the evidence is overwhelming. I'll go down the whole line, prosecutor, defendants. I'm going to go down the whole line of evidence should have been the evidence. This court case. I'm displaying. Why are you letting her out, uh, evidence in and my then opinion. submitting it to you? That's not how the court works. Let's see what we got, man. Oh, oh, I think I gotta get that motherfucker. Let me get that you motherfucker gotta get first. In that shit first. Yeah. But, but I'm fighting for my oh, own. that's it. Private jet? Yeah. You're moving different. Yeah, I'm not moving this different, but you know, I'm still moving. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, bro. Back on my island, I'm a king, hey, you bro. You gotta fucking fly this shit, right? Come on now. My pops taught me how to fly when I was 12 years old. Victor willingly getting down to the jet, to the island, excited. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. That's how you know, it gotta be. That's how it's supposed position, to be. You know, is what I'm, I'm trying to accomplish something that, you know, Pablo Escobar does. You know what I mean? That's a fact. He trying to do a Pablo Escobar deal. Okay, that's one. He don't sound scared. I'm gonna show you my Pablo Escobar, Colombian drug lord. Yes, sir. And that's what me and my family, you know, usually control in this city, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's like the headquarters. Yeah, so everything from the ports. You see that one little house right there? Yeah. That's my cargo ship. Okay. You know what I mean? Got you. So you, you, ain't, you ain't got to worry about doing that shit on the ship no more. Shit, that shit comes straight to your door now, man. You know, it's gonna come straight to the ship, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. Perfect. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? What's the word, brother? No, no, listen, I'm good, brother. I'm good for it right now. Alright, I appreciate you. No problem. Sorry about that. That's my head of my security for my campaign, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm, I'm about to tell you a little bit. Let me tell you a little bit about myself right quick. Hold on. Give me one second, buddy. In the prosecution and the defendants, did y'all get to go over the evidence? That's I'm looking at it. I'm one more video left. Yeah, sorry. We do you. Three. Yeah, we still have more. <laughs> Uh, let, I mean, the reasoning behind it is that this only happened just a little while ago, and Victor spent a considerable amount of time with uh, Agent Watkins today, uh, all while film was rolling, um, almost from start to beginning from uh, Mr. Watkins' uh, mission today. He spent the majority of his time with Victor, um, who had ample opportunity, by the way, uh, after leaving and not being with him to not come back, so... Pretty strange, but uh, continuing to post more evidence for you, sir, uh, in light of him wanting a quick and speedy trial, uh, providing the best case we possibly can for the evidence let that the, we have. Let Judge. the record reflect that part of the evidence shown is clearly stated that um, Mr. Victor had got a phone call and he said that he was okay from his head of security of this campaign. Um, Special Agent Watkins, you have anything you need to say? Um. Yeah, the only thing, Judge, just, and this is just me asking you for your personal opinion. Did um the defendant sound scared or worried or hesitant about anything to you? Um, fortunately, uh, Special Agent Watkins, I'm not even subject to give my personal opinion at the moment. It's still time for sentencing, but evidence is there. The evidence is there. All right. Can I get a sidebar? Can I get a sidebar? Please, with the prosecution and the defendants, please. Of course. Please come. You would like us to approach the bench? Approach the bench, please. Approach the bench. Excuse me. Yes. I'm not the smartest man in the world, Miss Big Mama. Mm -hmm. But just this sure, evidence, sure. without sure, even sure, showing sure, the evidence sure, of him sure. obtaining these bricks. Just, 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 just. Yeah, just, 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 just
without me even obtaining evidence of him actually receiving the purchases yes the heroin bricks this right here is circumstantial this exactly. is correct it's enough to defute any claim of him being scared he was on the phone with his head security big mama this was he all a deterrent was okay it was all a deterrent to convince the person he was with that he was not he was still there by himself that was a phone call on an island i hear you out but i still have not seen anything in my eyes that has shown me that victor knew at any moment and i still haven't even seen the actual drug you haven't seen anything in your judge eyes. it's coming judge. Prescriptions that you're wearing. judge everything else <laughs> judge everything else is coming let me say this when, when if his security was calling he could have walked away. He came next to me to let me know that he was comfortable. Any cold word? I know he got cold words for security when he feels threatened or anything. But this is my thing. Big Mama pulled you up to the bench and let you know that you really need to tell your defendant. To take the plea, yeah. Take the plea. With all due respect, Your Honor. And he's wasting the whole state and federal time right now. Okay, let me have another talk with him. With all due respect, Your Honor. I don't know if um if um the person over me, which is Agent Ripley, has or has not taken that deal off the table. So that's a whole nother conversation. Special Agent Ripley. I mean, he is adamant that he wanted to take this to trial. Um I think at this point, you know, I didn't have the evidence before. Maybe if I speak to him in light of what you guys are saying and what evidence we've seen, I possibly could uh persuade him the evidence isn't strong i'm sorry to say it it's you have not, not told that, that's ma not all this evidence, is not all the evidence yeah i understand and, and, and you guys and if you guys are even thinking him. about saying mm -hmm. that we didn't turn evidence in i want you to know okay. that he was under a sealed indictment okay this is, this is my thing right here this is big mama mm -hmm. brother you're terrified scared shit that's not your hands <laughs> what's that noise man <laughs> what the <laughs> You can be scared shit without your plans. You choose to make your own decisions. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. So I understand the angle of your argument. It's not enough, especially not in the federal Supreme Court. It's not enough. Yes. Being scared is not enough. Because you're scared, you made a bad decision, doesn't mean that you did not commit the crime. Yes, he, he, definitely, he definitely feels like that he was uh, trapped in this situation. I understand your point of view, but no one puts the guns up to his head and told him to do anything that took place. Okay, I will that? let, yes, I will adamantly talk. express Please this to him again. Um, Agent Ripley, is this deal okay. still on the table? Is it okay for me to leave the bench? I think, I think when you start um, trial, I think it's it okay taken over once you start. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we can't offer um, not being able to seize his assets now. Um, all the evidence has been presented. Add more time. Okay, so. Possibility. 1,500 months. 1,500. Yeah. 1,500 months if he takes a deal. If not, we proceed 2,000 months with the forfeit assets. And, okay. and, and this is the last deal. Let him know that. This, 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 is, right. the last, this is the last deal. And right, we haven't even gotten to the part where he purchases and makes a speech at the club about how they're going to take over the city with this heroin. All right? There's a speech. I might want to see this evidence. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, Wally. Let me go talk to him. Okay, okay, uh, Judge, DA, he's willing to take the plea deal. Everybody, can anybody hear me? Uh, you might have been whispering. Yeah, yeah. I heard you. No, no, I'm yeah, shouting yeah. as loud as I can speak. Yeah, the ball here, man, probably still on it. Okay, sorry. Hey, sir, you're still, you're still okay. whispering. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. All right. Special Agent Ripley, Special Agent Watkins, Mr. Victor has agreed to take the plea agreement of 1,500 months. Um, Mr. Victor, could you hear me? I hear you, sir. 
Did you agree to take this plea deal of 1,500 months? Uh, yep. Has anyone forced you or made any deals with you? Any deals with you to take this plea? Okay, you guys go. I mean, they, they, they made the deal. Has anybody forced you to take this plea? No. Okay. That's all I was asking. All right, let the record reflect. Mr. Victor is taking a plea agreement of 1,500 months in the federal prison. Um, officers, you can't arrest him and sentence him to his time. Uh, hopefully, you come out a changed man, Mr. Victor. Hopefully, we get a new course. I, I beg your pardon, sir? <laughs> or I'm, I am a changed man. Oh, it's so funny. Case, <laughs> oh, my God. Laugh now, cry later. <laughs> Laugh now, cry later. Oh, I'm just without a threat. Dude, you look like you're at food, man. Did he just say, Laugh now, cry later? No, no, he didn't just say that, man. He did say that, and I'm scared now. Yes, he did. I am very I scared now. I don't know what that man would do. He was singing a song about yeah, Drake. I can't, I can't see shit. Bring Big there back in the courtroom. Get him back in the courtroom now. Oh my. Man, that's the that's the new Drake song, man. You ain't hear it, man. You outburst again, sir. You will be sentenced to a thousand months. Where's Victor at? What's up? He disappeared. I can't see him. He's uncuffing. Kind of uncuffing. There you go. Amazing. Oh, I'm bleeding like old D. <laughs> How you doing, Judge? So, Mr. Victor, you you made an outburst, made a statement, laugh now, cry later. Is there some type of threat towards the prosecution? No, no, no. No, God, no. You think, you think I'm that stupid? What was the meaning behind this scene? Oh, no, it's a song. You know what I mean? I might as well, you know, create a rap song while I'm behind bars and shit. I'm, I'm back there, you know, for a long time. So you're rapping in my court? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, the fact that he him. even did anything like that shows that he has no remorse. I didn't, listen, I didn't even say nothing to him. I didn't direct him. I wasn't facing him or nothing. You know you're not <laughs> supposed to outboard, outburst in this courtroom, right? Listen, I apologize, Josh. I don't know, Dan, what you Mr. Drizzy, are you taking care of Mr. Victor? Make sure he get his time. They need help. They need help. At oh, 1600 Okay. Can you, Total can you, of 1600 you, for contempt of court. Thank you, Judge. Get him up out of here. Thank you, Judge. Can you, Victor, uh, let don't me, forget to can you let me walk out, payments. please? Get up out of here. Thank you, Judge. Oh, hey, can I get hey. treated before I emails before I go in, please? Yo, you got the wrong person, my man. Rizzy, get him up out the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's next on the docket list? Uh, nice Special Agent Ripley. Special Agent Rob. Thank you, Judge. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That nigga so why he still won't pay me for them bricks. <laughs> I'll wait here to let her back in. Who's next? Um, we can start with selfless. Uh well. Hmm. Who else do we have in custody, Chief Grady? Man, stop playing at me. We have Draco, we have Selfless, we have Seven. We can go with Draco right now. Yeah, let's go with Draco. Okay. Go ahead. Now, I, uh, would you like the opportunity to review the evidence on Draco before we proceed okay. with the 10-minute uh, recess? Draco and I have already... Hell no. Yeah, yeah we've already I'm agreed. gonna take the deal. Yes. Hell yeah, okay. plea deal. Hey, yo, bitch. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you have a phone already? Yeah. Oh, I think I do, yeah. Looks like they're gonna take the deal. All right. Oh, what's up? Hey, Mr. Draco, could you please stand where you're supposed to be standing? Where oh, is sorry, your shirt? My, my my I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. My shirt. I believe you when I come Put your shirt on. Where is your shirt? Well, the cops, the cops kind of ripped my shirt up. When Officer, I can we get that door locked so it's not too much running in and out? Please lock that door, uh, Assistant Tree, Chief Drizzy. You see, you see what I'm saying? No. It cut holes see. in my hoodie, man. Because of my hair. That shit crazy. Is that profanity? Huh? It says diamond. I, I don't think that's profanity. I'm talking about he said it. He said it out of his mouth, man. Okay, so you are taking the plea for a thousand months, Mr. Draco. Here say. Anybody forced you to take this plea? Here say. Anybody bribed you, coerced you to take this plea? Here say. You are guilty as charged. Here say. 
you say hearsay? <laughs> yes, that is a legal term, Your Honor. That's I don't not, know how that's... legal the term is. I need a yes or a no. Hearsay is not a, hearsay is not probable for him taking a plea. So if you want to take this to trial to play with your life, Mr. Draco, take thinking this is a game, we can do this. Okay? I need a yes or no. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Anybody force you to take this plea, sir? No, sir. Anybody coerce you or give you any type of deals to take this plea, sir? No, sir. You are a charge, sir. Yes, sir. Your Honor, I, you I have bitch. a request. And what's that, Mr. Uh, Can I get a formal apology from Mr. Draco to uh, Agent Watkins? Uh, what he said about his hair. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. I appreciate it. What was said? Please, could you please repeat what was said? Yeah, Mr. Draco, can you repeat what you said to to Mr. Watkins, please? Uh, I... I don't even... I you know don't what know. you're saying, man. You know what you're saying, man. I don't saying nothing about his hair. You know what you're saying, man. I, I, all I said was I, I knew I knew was something about that about his motherfucking hair. That's all I said. I More profanity, Judge. I said nothing. More profanity. What did you say? Could you please watch the language? More profanity. That's what I said, though. I, I was repeating what I said to him. What did you I, say? That I knew it was something about his hair. You know, nothing what, crazy. What, what was he just took it to heart. He's sensitive. You feel me? What was it about? More, more, more insults, Judge. How's that an insult? Well, you just call me sensitive. My, my grown mate. Special agent sensitive. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry what about that. What did you say mm -hmm. specifically? I don't, listen, I do not about hearsay. I don't recall. Blockings. Here. I do not recall what I said. Recall. I apologize. You're safe. Right. Here. <laughs> okay, Mr. Draco, you will be sentenced to 1,100 months. What the? No, sir. That's not how it goes. You, he so, took the. Ma'am, last time I checked, this was his courtroom. Last time I checked, this is his courtroom, man. Ma'am, interrupt me again. Contempt the court. I think she won't do the extra hundred months for him, Judge. No, I, I understand you, Judge. Objection. You're safe. Like One more outburst, I'm adding another hundred. Okay. All right, stuff on Mark Berry. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Oh, shit, Hey, add a, add a thousand months to everybody's stuff till they get till they figure out who did it. Right. Damn! The agreement's going up. Which one? Come over here. Guys, want to outburst and disrupt my court? The oh, plea agreement's going up. What y'all talking about, bro? I just had the headband, chief. Bro, watch out, bro. Oh, that's him. Do do? That's Hell him. Nah, that ain't me, officer. I know that voice. That was you. Y'all got Will Smith in the, in the, in the cop uniform. Agent, that shit crazy. Do you want to do Gramps next? Right, yeah, let's do Gramps next. Yeah, let's do Gramps. All right. Eleven in the federal penitentiary. Um, I hope you change, man. I just all I can say is, Mr. Draco, you think this is a game? I hope you change. You're not sorry, in my courtroom Tom. again. I'm sorry, Tom. Okay, make that twelve hundred months, oh, I'm, uh, Mr. Drizzy. I'm, take him I'm sorry, bro. Disrespect. Yes, I'm not sir. your bro, Objection. I'm not your brother, I'm not your homie. <laughs> no Objection. Man. Get some outside, bro. Ob uh, motherfucking objection, guy. Now. Thirteen hundred months. <laughs> Take me to jail, bro. He got, he got to Take me to jail, bro. Take me to fuck this day. You will get time slathered on time. Slathered is crazy. That nigga says slathered. Whoa, 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 I know he didn't say it. I like to say it. Whoa, I think Gramps is next. Yeah, uh, Miss Cash, would you like to? Uh, we'd like to have both Ryron and Gramps together. Oh, shit. Whoa, Ryron, Gramps. Please proceed. Hey, hey, excuse me, Grant. Grant Father, you need to watch your mouth. I'm sorry, I got in China. My bad. Final, you got a vagina. I got in China. I got in China. I got in China. There you go. Huh? Alright. No, they got me. Look, let me tell you. They got me fucked up. I'm a user. 
We use phone fuses. Every time you use a cuss word, sir, we will add a hundred months to your sentence. Stop swearing in the court, sir. All right, so, uh, Miss Cash, I'd like to, if possible, Judge, I'd like to give. You please shout, uh, Special Agent. Yes. Uh, if possible, Miss Cash, because their case is a little different than the others, would you like to take a couple minutes just to speak with your client to go over what happened there? And I yeah. will go ahead and, and post the, the evidence of what they've done. So, uh -huh. Won't be no uh -huh. plea agreement with this one? Uh, I think for them, we would offer a hundred months in community service would be... He said hundred months, I'll do that shit right it now. Would be, it would be a hundred months and then we'd also have months to for do... You, sir. Nah, I'm going to take my black ass out of you. have to go to rehab. Months, rehab. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go rehab right now. Shit, I'll go to rehab. Take me to rehab. Right, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, excuse me. Are you able rehab. to give um, Gramps that deal? And I'll talk to Ray Rowe now. Said. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Take me to rehab. I can't do that. <laughs> No, no, no. The, the offer is um, 100, 100 months and then rehab. I can't do 100 months. I got vagina. <laughs> I don't get my medicine in there. Time. We Listen, got all with all due respect, Gramps, uh, Mr. Harold Thomas, you weren't thinking about your angina when you were putting that needle in your arm. Oh, exactly, shit. exactly. I'm old. I don't know better. Come on, Gramps. Hey, hey, Gramps. Let me, let, let me tell you something, Gramps. I, I'll sing a song. Let me sing a song. Let me tell you something, Gramps. I'll sing a song. Gramps. Hey, Gramps. Hey, Gramps. Gramps, you better take this deal. Hey, Gramps, you better take this deal, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why, Gramps. Because we're, we're giving you user. Okay? You bought 10 bricks. Okay? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, don't tell my business. Now, 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 if you want us to try you, Gramps, do you want to get on try? Yeah, all right. I'll take the hundred months. I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm going to shut my black ass up. I'm going to shut my black ass up. Fine, you smoking dick. You smoking, <laughs> you smoking, you smoking when I'm smoking. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I can't. Time slathered on time. Time slathered on time. I know you ain't talking, you fake ass pop smoking. Time slathered on time. I know you ain't talking. No, 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 no. Give right wrong. Yes. Hell no, don't give me a thousand. Help. Hey, Miss Ripley. We right. also have well, another no user over there, too. No, 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 don't There's no other users. A hundred much take me to jail. Now, while I'm going out, I'm going to say condition... D money, I'm going to find your bitch ass, bitch. Uh, well, give him 500 months. Fuck oh, no. you, you bald sack of shit. You look like my left nut, months. bitch. A left He's nut. A thousand. And that bitch deflated. You got a titty on your head. <laughs> Oh, That's 1100! Hey! I'm telling you what this man is. That's 1200 months! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Well played, Judge. Well played. Guess who's going to jail tonight? This dude here with the ass. I'm not sure that damn five hours. Dick, it's all kind of disrespect. Okay, this man is cuffed right here, officer. Could you please escort him up front, please? It's the man that was outbursting. He want to be a comedian. He thinks he's a, 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 a Kevin Hart. Man, Rasky, bro. Rasky. Mr. Rasky. Yeah. yeah. If we all talk, you, do you know how to behave? Yeah, I know how to behave. I ain't gonna run off. Huh? You can't, you can't run off. You, ain't gonna get if you know how to behave in here. Prosecution, what are we charging Mr. Rasky with? Um, he's a part of an organization that Draco's a part of. Um, Gramps, Gramps just called my phone. I don't know how he still has the phone, and he sent it to a thousand month. Thousand month. <laughs> get PD down at the um jail, whatever Gramps had, and get his phone. He's texting me right now. I'll read it. I'll, I'll read it loud, Judge. Officer down into the jail to uh, get this phone. No, uh, get all the phones out agent. of the jail. Make sure he takes a buddy with him. Okay. Did this gentleman make any sales or hey, did he brandish any illegal firearms around here? He did not. He did not. So why don't we just give him 100 months for conspiracy? Okay, let's do I'm with that. I'm with that. Okay, let me, um, I was just informed that Gramps was sent for a thousand months. Please. Yes, the yes. judge on the judge orders he was sent for a thousand months on the judge's so orders. You, you go talk to him if you want to talk to somebody. 
Is anyone in here that doesn't want to take a plea? I'm you don't know why you're here. It's just the guy right there in the shirt, no, right there. I haven't even got read my right. Oh, sorry. So, I didn't even get yeah, read my right. Watch your elbows, bro. Good point, officer. Good sorry, point. No. Okay, so well, anybody else? Right. Anybody here that's trying to take a plea? I'm trying to see no. what I'm charged with, gang. You want to take a plea or not? No. If you want to take a plea, step down here right now. Step right here. Can they know the charges at the bare yeah, minimum? Yeah. We will, we will read off the charges and I will mm, talk to the, uh, the prosecution <laughs> to see what type of offer they have. Excellent. I, stand up I think the offer is still the same now. if I'm not mistaken, but I okay. think they do want to know their charges if that's not Lee, a problem. Lee over here. We, bro, I can't yeah. hold on. Let me and tell you how much time you're in the Hey, are you on a real quick question? Real quick question. What's your name, sir? My name is Seven Smirnoff, sir. All these charges are regarding drug purchases. So that's what the charges are for. Okay, okay, Mr. Watkins, um, Mrs. Yes. Ripley, could you please uh step forward? They, they, these these they guys are charged with um it's not <clears throat> drug charge. distribution with intent to deliver. You said right? distribution. Um, um you, you guys both yeah, yeah, purchased, purchased intent to deliver. Mm -hmm. You guys both purchased large quantities of heroin for me. We have that on evidence. I'm gonna use hold it. On, yeah. Hold on, I was gonna say real quick now, yes. officer. I, I understand, you know, and, and this respectfully, okay. uh, Detective, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Special Agent Watkins. Special Agent Watkins, I ain't purchased nothing from you, sir. You definitely <laughs> did. You definitely did. I mean, I mean, you got a, you got a transaction or anything from me, sir? I mean, I yes, get yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's on, it's on evidence. Don't worry about it. Um, and you, sir, you saying that you're a user. I have not seen you use anything. No one has seen you use anything. The, the other two guys that got sent up out of here, they they were seen using. Sir, I just try to keep my. You know, look, look my sir, your things. options are simple: take the deal or go to trial. What? What's the deal? What's the deal? Thousand months. A thousand. Thousand. Man, break me half of that now. Thousand I, I months. I know I ain't got a transaction. All right, all right, all right. So, so you want to go to trial? Is what you're saying? If you want to go oh, to no, trial, I'm just asking, please take a seat, Mister. I'm just asking for a simple half of that. I ain't, I ain't make no transaction this with you. So you're not, you're not in a position to bargain. This is not a negotiation. This is not a negotiation. Right negotiation. Take, the take, take, take me to jail. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Go to trial. Yeah, go with, yeah, go with your brother. Go with your fucking brother. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's keep this. I ain't got. Don't even say nothing, brother. Don't even say nothing. Mister Rasky, are you taking a plea? Man, I don't even know why I'm getting charged for it, sir. Um, so, judge. He's charged with he's charged with conspiracy. Um, we believe him to be a part of Draco's community. I have I photos of him. Man. I have photos of him with Draco, and we're prepared to show that in evidence. So, um, right. but but since it's just conspiracy and he didn't actually do anything, but just um associate with these people, we're willing to yeah. offer him a hundred months. But if he um wants to go to trial, then we'll offer him. We'll give him the same time as Draco plus no, Nasser. What? No, I'm for him, Greg. Hey, hey, excuse me. You, so you want to stop the outburst? Yeah, I'm taking the, I'm taking that plea. Yeah. All right, you want to take the hundred months? Okay, get him up out of here. Give him his hundred months. Yeah. Oh. All right. First guy with the drill lock. Thick ass sideburns. Give him two hundred months. <laughs> <laughs> I might have another five hundred for you. Right, you take sideburns. Please stand here, next here, to, your, to your uh to your lawyer. Do you have a lawyer? Come on, Okay, could you stand next to your lawyer, please? She can give me five hundred, gang. Oh yeah, he's part of security team. All right. Look at your goofy ass on. Shut up, I'm an attorney. This this man's charge, prosecution. Uh, this man's charge is conspiracy to commit murder, and um conspiracy to the same um charges that um Victor went away for. This is one of the security guys that's on the team that you heard Victor on the phone with saying that he was okay. Um, Victor told me, and I have evidence, me and Victor was on a car ride. He told me that his security team have murdered people and everything else. Um, we're willing to offer him 500 months. And um, if he does not comply and wants to go to trial, we'll offer him 2,000 plus an asset wipe. What? What are you talking about? Don, what? Don, Don did, did you want to fight that? I, I, I mean, listen, uh, just because one man said I did something don't mean I did anything. Yeah, There's no, no proof that, that I murdered. He's not going to take the plea deal. That's, that's no to the plea, that. sir. No to the plea. Let me tell him something before they do that. This guy told me his security team, who his security team was, and I'll have you know, Judge, these guys were security at the brick party, and they do have um, phone conversations with um, 
Victor, that's in our evidence. I have, I have all that. I have all that. I have all that on evidence. No, we do not. Yes, 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 they do because Victor. Victor gave them a list of names of people who were on the list that was coming to the brick party. We have all this on evidence, sir. We would like. We would love to see the evidence. We're taking this trial. No problem. Okay, let's. Um, I'll prepare the evidence. Who else do we have on the docket today? Um, that guy as well. He's a part of the same case over there. With the Sean John PK. Those are the two. Yeah, with the drive. <laughs> Sean John PK. Yeah, it's only one in here. Hey, Jaheen, well, come on, bro. Get, which which His name's Jaheen too. Even better. Jaheen. Sounds like an RB scene. All right, so these two gentlemen were the gentlemen that were security outside the brick party, right? Yeah. Uh, we, we moved. All right, so I'll prepare that evidence. Um, right. Is there anybody else in the meantime who is uh, prepared to take a deal before we do that? Who are these other guys over here? Just right, are you guys taking a feed deal? Let me see what these guys' names are. No. What's your name, sir? No. Sir, um, my name is Maurice. Maurice? Maurice money. Um, Maurice these were the guys that were locked up for the um having the crypt chains on. No, sir. I do not have a crypt chain on. I ain't got no chain, bro. This is the guy that was actually hitting on the roof. Oh, we, oh, we, this one's the one that had on a Pennywise suit. Um, no, sir. Gonna be able to he was on the roof. I was wearing no, clothes. I wasn't on the roof. Anyway, this the guy know. that was on the roof at the party. I was in the no, sir. he was on the roof of PD. Can I speak to my oh, I don't know him. Uh, what about this guy? On the back bench over there? Absolutely. You got me at the hospital. Back over here? I got you at the hospital. Okay, so you did have the crib chain on. What about you, sir? All right. Sir, uh, sir, yeah. sir, 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 sir. Oh. Sir, with the suit. The Sandy guy with the suit on is Frenchy. Mr. Andy. Frenchy. Andy okay. Delarue. So we're gonna do Frenchy next, and then we're gonna do these last three guys. All right, all right, then. Um, the two security guards. They, they, did they take a plea? They. No, they're going upstairs to discuss their case with their lawyer. I'm preparing the evidence on. And to be clear, those are the brothers, right? Yes, the security, have, the security. That's the security team. We also have a Dominican. Um, a Dominican. Um, it's not a part of this case. It is interesting that he got swept up though, because Mr. Dominican was also at the uh, cemetery when we were staging to move in. Are we getting this with somebody? Uh -huh. Should we let him go? Um, yeah, Dominican. I think I, I'm I would say for, maybe for time, sir. Yeah, you can let Dominican go. Mr. Dominican? Yeah. All right, take him. Dominican, the come driver, on. Got... And the driver yes, as well, sir. Tony. Tone. You let go for time, on time, sir, sir? Tone Damn. as well. I think I should get paid for this. How long I've been there, mom? I mean, we, you, we can get paid, but island. you will get held in contempt of court. Keep out in here. Okay? <laughs> get up out of here now. Nah, you know what? I learned my lesson from the other ones. Fuck that. Out of here now. Are you able to help me, miss? Um, did we ever find that pastor? Have we ever found that pastor? Anybody? Okay. Chief Grady? That's a negative. Mr. Andy, you there? Probably not. Crunchy. 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, weren't you told no cameras in the courtroom? Chief Grady. Get out. Hey, Chief Greg. Who you talking about? This dude right here with the camera. Get out. Chief Drizzy. Excuse me. Chief Drizzy. Come on, you know which one it is, bro. Don't make me sorry. Could you, could you put a warrant out for that pastor, please? Yes, sir. The pastor. Yes, sir. My man in the red. Can you get down from here, please? You going to come or not? Do you know the pastor's government name? No. Don't put me up this bitch. I'll walk past and shit. Grab him on here. Wow. Alright, so. Agent Watkins, if you want to start reviewing what I'm putting in there, and just if you know, uh, can remember anything specific in that time frame. What happened? Oh, I was saying, if you want to go ahead and review what's in there now. Uh, I'm about to post a footage of them actually at the brick party, but um, if you want to review that and just uh, if there's anything you can remember in between that time and the brick party, let me know and I'll try to scrub for it real quick. All right.
watching this too, so I want to definitely, you know what I'm saying, put you down with him too. What's his name? Jeremy. Yeah, what's his name? Seven. My brother Seven. Me and him, we handle that type of shit on, on our side. All right, that's a bit. See, let me know. I bet. Uh, uh, I'm about to have to re up in a minute. You know, I run the Russian mafia, right? Me I wasn't aware. Me, me and my four brothers, we came here. You know, we worked from the ground up. Now I have, I'm running for mayor. I have guy, I, I, I planted a guy in LSPD. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I move a lot different than these other guys. Okay, so none you... of my brothers have ever, ever been arrested for anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. You got it. Agent Ripley, man, have a word. Oh shit! Damn! Damn! Damn. <laughs> Excuse me. I think she's had more evidence. Hit me, damn bird guy. Right. My fault, man. You get different when you're hungry, huh? Yeah, shit, well, I ain't, I ain't myself without a sneaker. I got a sneaker if you need it. Now, who was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I... <laughs> Just so you guys know, the Frenchie was going to take the deal. Uh, Andy. Andy Delarue. Hey, look, let's not sentence anyone. Yeah, he, he, he seems please. to be uh, he's not 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 worth worth in his head. Yeah, yeah. he's in his head. Community service time. Just All right, you, you up, just so sent him on his way. Agent Ripley. Uh, what was that? I'm... Uh, Agent Ripley. I didn't hear you. Did you, you, you hear, hear me now? I said? Yeah, I can hear you. Right. Can I have a word real right quick? Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. So the evidence um, that you show, it don't say anything about the security. So I'm confused. Are those two not the two brothers, Seven and... No, no, those are the guys who took the deals before. So Victor was telling me about the um, security. We were in a car. Okay, but that was before the party, right? You yeah. guys spend so much time together, and I have literally every single moment of it. Hey, 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 you're, you're shouting. We can hear you in the courtroom. All right. Sorry. So, yeah, I have every single moment of that time. Yeah, so we need the footage from the party, and um, we got to find out what part it was in the car when he talked about his security. Remember if it was before or after the island? I'm assuming it was probably after. Um. Yeah, it was. It was. It was after. It had to be after because we was already established by then. I know we was in the car and he was telling me about it. Okay, I see him at the house. You were Victor at the house. Time, sir, because they weren't involved in anything. They were just basically driving by. Yes, he was just a driver. Do you see any other times that me and Victor was in a car together? Yeah, any jokes yeah there's there's plenty. There's a time after this too. I'm scrubbing it now for specifically for the part where he mentions that they, you know, murder for him. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, the part where you revealed yourself at the party and where they're out front at the party uh, and they're standing out front. This might be the most uh, most criminals we've sentenced in a night. Let me know if you want to just drop it. I mean, let's offer them a deal because they were definitely involved, <laughs> right? Um, what was the initial what deal that we offered them? I think we offered them 500 months or something like that. Let's do a hundred months, uh, hundred months, and make them pay a twenty-five thousand dollar fine each. Okay, we got to talk to the lawyers about it. Okay. All Where's the prosecution at? Right here. Counsel of the defendants. Uh, All right, there we go. The, Waiting on you guys. Defense attorneys. Defense attorneys? Yes, hold on, I gotta go. Um, yes, 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 we're here. Um, um, Agent Ripley would like to have a word with you. 
Okay, no worries. I'll just take a look at this evidence while you guys are talking. So is there anything when, like when that? Trap spots, when trap spots are getting raided, calls me and lets me know if my four brothers are at those trap spots. I call my brothers, make sure they're not there, and, and we move on. You know what I mean? That's a bet. That's a bet. Say that. Right. Still don't feel like it's enough Free dog. Bloody at home watching TV. A special agent Watkins, what seems to be the holdup? Um, they're back there going over everything with the um, with the defense team. All right. We're preparing to give these two brothers a deal because they didn't play as big as a role as everybody else. Well, All right. Man. Barring that, okay, I'm willing to throw that evidence out. But what about the fact that they were literally at the party when Victor is making a speech about how they're going to take it for the city and allowing them to collect well, where's, where's hey, you might want to tell them check whisper i'm about to do this shit. That's definitely because I'm, I'm lost how just doing a security job is any crime um because if you uh, witness a crime and don't tell the police that means it's crime conspiracy I, what crime did i witness i was never told what was happening i did my job and stayed at the door that's not a crime boss all right i don't Too. Yo, special agents, we got the uh, pastor outside. Oh, bring him in. Please bring him in. Yeah, Sir, Jesus is escorting right now. And we got guys outside want to go to jail. They're still in government cars. Is he still? Oh, no, I can't see. <laughs> pastor, how you doing? Good to see you again. Hey, how you doing there, brother? I'm all right. You can take a seat over there on the bench. Oh, I can't see. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, can y'all, uh, actually... This is ridiculous. What you mean they want to go to jail? Yeah, these guys have been doing that lately, uh, Jerry. What they've been doing is once the jail still... I them going to jail for this uh, at all. Okay. I mean, granted, we'll go ahead and dro drop it because at this point it's time served, right? Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. But we're... How about this? We can't really drop it because I'm going to be honest, they did witness a crime and they refused to report um and they are involved of... the conspiracy so they were also they plead hit. guilty we'll just <laughs> count it as sir, time sir yeah, they're okay security. but if they plead guilty it's going to be on their it's going to be on their record and they are licensed to carry so that's going to revoke their license I'm and they charging have them with a felony i'm not charging them with a felony let me go talk to them really quick and see if that's something that they would like to do mr minor conspiracy okay um, we have the pastor too, Agent Ripley. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let me clear this back. I think there's one more coming. Yep. So they're wanting to do. Agent Ripley, you want to start getting the evidence against the pastor? Yeah. You coming over here with any bill? No, no. Listen to me. You have to listen, right? Okay. And everybody that's gonna start talking, y'all make sure y'all shout again, alright? Didn't witness it. it we just come on. Now. It's crazy. But that, what? You know, I can't. I can't admit to a crime that I didn't do. So I'm good. So can I? Okay. So listen. We can plead no contest or guilty. Not sure. I need y'all take a seat in this a felony, Or we can continue with this. I can present the evidence. Okay. So what you just said that this will be on our record. So I'm confused on which one it is. We are not going to receive any felony. It's a misdemeanor conspiracy. We were hired to protect somebody who was an active commission of committing a crime, a felonious crime, and he's serving time for it. Okay, but if I'm not under the, the knowing of that, then how can I, how, how is that even allowed? Let me ask you a question. What do you think happens if two people are in a car and one person is murdering people and those two people do absolutely nothing about it? What do you think happens to those people? They're going to go down. Okay, 
So if you were hired by someone who is a criminal and is actively committing crimes in front of you, you have proof that you were there for this party where the admittance fee was a thousand grams of heroin. What do you yeah, think you, you happens talking about a fee? Okay, okay, um, Agent Ripley. Agent Ripley. Not knowing what was going on and was provided Agent Ripley. people to come in. So there is no Agent Ripley. Let's, let, let's leave it to the discretion of the judge. Come on. Sure. Judge. Yeah. I would like ready. to I would like to ask these two men a question. Um you can proceed. Gentlemen. You were working for Victor, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was working for oh. this this dude dude next to me. That's who I was working for. Okay, okay. you was working for him and he was working for Make sure you, make sure you shout, brother. Come, okay, you you were working for him and he was working for Victor. He just said it. So in turn, exactly. you were working for Victor. Um Judge, I, I, Judge, you see um that Victor was just sent away, pled guilty to um having an ambition to be the biggest heroin dealer in the city and ac accomplishing what Pablo Escobar couldn't. You heard him say he um ran the Russian mafia, and you just heard these gentlemen say that they worked for him. Judge, we have no further evidence. All right. All right. What? May I speak, Judge? There, so there's no evidence on file. Um, the only evidence was their confession that they worked for him. Um, and you heard it, okay. Judge, in 8K. Judge, may I speak to you? Yes, you can. Okay, Judge. So um, how this went about, and this was a little bit of, of the evidence that was uh, showed in Victor's file. Um, my client here, Don, he works at the mechanic shop, um, and he was making repair kits. As he was making repair kits... I object, kits, Judge. That's irrelevant. Days. That's irrelevant to the case, no, Judge. No, it, it's not irrelevant. He called his uh, employer, uh, Victor, asked if Victor needed any repair kits, and he said, no, I'm good. After that, Victor gave him a call and said he needed two to three people to go and uh, work at... Judge, the they can't prove that. that. They cannot prove that, Judge. That's your okay. So they were there. Um, they did not sell any drugs. They did not purchase any drugs. Judge, what we do know they is... were there... They were on the scene of the brick party to work and they just said they work for Victor. May I speak? Or are you just going to keep cutting me off? Please. They were employed by Victor to stand in the front and get everyone in and out. They have their license to do it. They did not commit any crimes. They were not informed of any activities that were happening inside of the club. They are not guilty of any crimes. And just like they said, they have no evidence. All right. I think I heard enough. <sighs> Being that these men did know Mr. Victor and did work for Mr. Victor, does not subject them to being criminals themselves. They were hired as security. Did not Correct. say that they had knowledge of anything that was transpiring even though they might have seen something but didn't say anything. Which is conspiracy. But being this perfection, you have a blind eye. But being that these guys had, had no type of illegal activities, I will have to find these defendants not guilty on all counts. Thank you. Go ahead and exit. Uh, Your Honor, can I, I got one question. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You're Sir, not guilty. Say... What you want to ask me a question for? Uh, yeah. my, uh, my registered firearm was taken away from me. Well, I'll be receiving that back. I do have proper paperwork please restore, to own that Chief, firearm. Could you please restore this man his firearm license if he if it was taken because of this case? And just the, just the weapon, weapon itself. No. All right. Come on. They Come took on. everything from me. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I need all of it back because that's all I got. <laughs> okay. The, for the next docket and the last, we have um the pastor here. Pastor, is that my pastor? Okay. Um, Ripley, can you before we okay. look at into the plea deal for the pastor? He wants me to see the evidence before that. So, are you able to send me all the evidence that you have against him? Um, we can send you evidence if you want to go to trial. No, I we need to have evidence for everyone. But you can't just make a bargain say we're not going to give you evidence. We're not okay, going to present so the evidence at trial without your knowing. If you want to go to trial, it's your constitutional right to have your evidence before um so you can prepare a defense before a trial starts but we are going to give him a plea deal we have a lot on him we can't tell him that 
Now he can either take the deal or he can leave it. He doesn't even know what he's in here for. He's so in he here for the same thing him. Victor is in here for. Your other client. <laughs> so he's purchased how many drugs from this undercover? Um, a lot. That's not a number. Multiple right? kilograms. Yep. That's not a number. Multiple kilograms. We have, we have proof I, of this. I purchase. need the exact. Yes, amount. we do have proof. Yes, we do have proof. Okay. Let's submit this proof. Hey, before we submit this proof, Pastor Chop, are you proceeding with this or are you going to take a plea agreement? Pastor, if you, if you don't take the plea I cannot hear you. Go ahead, you can speak. Go on, show. Can you hear me now? You're disgusting me. I just wanted to say that. But go ahead. Um, we can't hear you, Pastor. You're whispering. What about now? Can you yeah, hear me now? Can hear me now? You can hear me now. Yeah. Do you willing? Are you willing to take a plea, or you want to take this trap? Um, I, I, I just wanna, just wanna hear what the plea is and what, what's going on here. What? Is it was uh, over Draco. Draco won us. What's your, what's your names? My name is. I'll let you know. Yeah, we want. Hey, Draco. Yo, hey, what's the deal? What's the deal? That's a month and uh, asset forfeiture. Amen. Okay, how how much was the how much was the time served? That's a month. Yeah, I. I'd be willing to knock down because it has been a very lengthy process and you have been in custody. I would be willing to knock it down to 600 months as opposed to a thousand. Okay. Now, can I say something? No, sir. <laughs> Are you going to take this plea? That's a yes or a no. Uh, yeah, I'd take the plea, sir. All right. Before I sentence you to this plea, I'm going to tell you something here, pastor. I am so disgusted with you. <laughs> you're supposed to be an anchor in the community, but you're out here killing dope. You're pushing pee out here in these streets. Listen, listen, listen. And you're listen, supposed to be the pastor. No, 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 don't talk. It pushes you more. You're taking this innocent people, my grandmother, my aunt, her money, and you're, you're buying, you're buying heroin with it. Can, I am can, so can I disappointed. Speak? You're just, can, just, 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 can just I speak? Just, 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 can I speak? Sure, you can speak. I just want to say, I was, I was there. There's no denying that. Get him out of my courtroom. I don't want to hear anything. Give him his <laughs> time. You gotta go. Get Amen. him out of here. Amen. Houston, good Lord. The devil is alive. Crucify him. All right, is that well, minute? Judge, we appreciate you on the job. Well done. All right, come on. Let's go. 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 Let's yeah, three. Okay. Yeah, that was the last one. Hey, Judge. Yeah, that was the Okay. Let's you guys Come on. Ask where you got it. We got it. Escort. On you. I did. I do not have Escort. a weapon. Come on. I got you. I get you one. Get one. Get you 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 one. I will not hesitate. I will not hesitate to make you level tight. Get out. Get out of the court. I will not hesitate to make you level tight. Bro, what? Okay. I will. You got that little shit, agent. Yeah. This motherfucker gonna hit, though. Yo. And we can hit by it. Fuck, nigga. I got a question. Fuck on. Fuck, nigga. Hit by it, nigga. Nigga, hit by it, nigga. What's up? What's that gun on, nigga? What's up? Agent. Agent. I can't get in. You can't? Okay, hold on. Go ahead. All right, Mark. Can you mark, uh, mark our office? 
Absolutely. I think that was a job well done. It was definitely a job well done. Everybody got their time except for, um, oh my God. Except for one person. Where is um, Chief Grady? Chief Grady. Hey, Chief Grady. There's no EMS. Chief Grady. There's no EMS. No, she's she's Chief Grady. Oh, oh, this is the agents. All right. Chief Grady. Hey, Chief. 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 They calling you right there. Yeah, get in the car. Lord have mercy, Valley is laying in the middle of the street. They work so hard. Where's the judge? I want the judge to come as well. He's behind us That's at the courthouse. Question. Yeah, we should probably get him. He's not safe. Um, can you call him? We're coming around back to the courthouse right now. Can y'all come out to the front? Have the judge get in the car the with us. The judge is already going. Oh, then head up to 3005 Marcus. Off. The judge is gone. I already saw 10 4. Off. Pull up to 3005. 3, They're on the way to the FBI. Judge Watkins. Hey, Judge, could you make your way to um 3005? Back at our HQ. Oh, we're there now. All right, all right. See you there. See you there, buddy. All right. Oh my God! Can somebody pass put the thousand dollars in the glove compartment? Let me see. Gotcha. Put it in there now. I'll put it in there. Oh, hello, Chief Grady. Uh, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I can't even hold it. Somebody else had to repair the car. Or Rip, you can just pass to me, Ripley. Sure. KS Fam Gramps is still calling me. Gramps is calling you? Yeah, just pass to me, Ripley. It won't let me. Come just, on out. Alright. I'm getting the call on my own. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. <laughs> Alright. Not my fault. That's okay. Did it repair? Yeah. I guess I might hit my car out when I was sitting outside the car room. So what do you think, Chief Grady? I think that was great. I definitely do. I definitely do think we got out of folks. Um, but I will say this: uh, my, my main concern now is getting these uh, dirty officers out because um, I think I think I'm, I'm pretty sure the dirty officer that was releasing them, you know, for Victor, uh, was Drizzy. So hopefully that uh, that stops. You think so? Yeah. yeah, Victor did mention that he had um, someone on the inside. And if not, and if not him, did. then it was somebody else. We'll figure it out. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a Drizzy, uh, due to some people coming to me saying, you know, so and so did the same crime that I did. Uh, when the other officer sentenced me for 300 months, whereas Drizzy only gave the other guy uh, 20 months and let him out, just to give him time to say that he sent them off when we were all inside, inside of the cells. Yeah. So I was like, I, I, I definitely think that was him that he was talking about. But if not, then we'll continue to see and find out. Oh, I think today was a successful day. It was a fucking job well done. Um, Go Chief, ahead, Strawberry. What's going on? Chief Grady, you did your Chief Grady, you did your part. Your officers are on point. Um, Agent Ripley, you did a fucking amazing job. Yeah, that was on you. You did an amazing job. When it came down to um to court, you had all the evidence we needed to send these guys away. That was all your work. All I had to do was chop it up. Let's be honest here. We're a good team. Excellent team. Can't wait for the next mission. Yeah. Most definitely. I don't know. Miss Strawberry is calling my phone. Hold on. Strawberry, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What's going on? I 
I mean, I can't adjust that time. That was set by the by the judge. I could talk to the judge and see if he's willing to reduce their contempt charges, but they were going off. I will talk to the judge and see what he says for sure. All right. She said Gramps is in prison, freaking out about his thousand months because he has angina. He was here in contempt of court, and um, he was made aware that if he say anything out outrageous, that he would be here in contempt of court. He accepted what Ryan, came with his mouth. Right, and Ryron only had a hundred months and decided to go the fuck off on the judge. I mean, granted, yes, I agree. His head does look like a deflated titty, but that's besides the point. You don't say that in court. That's fight. Yeah, those guys are dumb to be sitting there doing that. Yeah, a hundred months. We're giving y'all the users. Y'all sit there and did that. No you know I saw. You know I served those guys ten bricks. I mean, yeah, that's I said. Ten bricks. That's that's not a user months? quantity right there. That's ridiculous. So they end up getting what they should have got in the first place. Not a scratch on her. That's a great job. I really feel like the judge um screwed us on those two security guards. Yeah, they definitely conspired for sure. No doubt about it. Good. Judge. Yeah, how you doing there, sir? How you doing? You screwed us on those two security guards, sir. And no, it's not about what you know, it's about what you can prove. Um, we proved that he works for the Russian Mafia leader. You didn't have any evidence, sir. Um, he said it himself, sir. He worked for them at security, but they didn't say he did anything legal, though. All That's right. the whole point. All right. Either way, it was a great day. You know. It was, great. It was an awesome day. We, we're, get, uh, we're, we're one for twelve at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Out of thirteen, trying to go. Out of thirteen criminals, twelve of them got sent away. You know, so that's beautiful. You guys did a great job with Operation Buy Brick. Absolutely, Operation Brick Party. Brick Party, Operation Brick Party was a success. It definitely was. was genius. So, um, it's going to be kind of hard to get these guys again. <laughs> Oh, trust me, we'll find another way, I'm sure. <laughs> this one, it's gonna, it's you, you know what they say? Calls. You know what they say about criminals? When, when they go in there, they need to get smarter. Especially that Victor. At least I don't have to worry about him being our goddamn mayor. You know what I mean? He, he did. That's what he was so more concerned of. <laughs> I'm actually upset we didn't get to show the evidence of him literally saying, you know I run the Russian mob, right? Me and my brothers. Exactly. Damn. I mean, he said a lot. He said a lot. I Just with that what you showed me. That's why I his, brought his, it to his the brother, bench. His brother T-Shine told it all, too. I mean, told it all. <laughs> Mm. And they just met you. They just met you today. Met me today, man. Met me today, man. Told me about everything, man. Mm -mm -mm. So, um... Huh? I'm actually really impressed with the accent that you were able to pull off. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, it, you would have never guessed that it, you know, that it was Sound you. like somebody that was from Newark, New Jersey. Right. Yeah, I appreciate that. Jersey. From Elizabeth, New Jersey. New Jersey. I appreciate that. So listen, what happened was, right? I mean, well, after that happened to them, I definitely think it would be impossible to catch them again. The same way, right? So next, mm -hmm. the next time we just gotta um do what we do this time, you know, um, implement something that they won't be expecting, you know. That's accurate. That is accurate. Oof, it's gonna be hard. Um, uh, Ripper. Yes. Um, on it. Um, on this agent right here. Um, body cam. I heard the uh, Mr. Uh, Victor talking about a uh cargo house or something he had. He does, yes. We need to get into that. 
Yeah. Did you guys right. put a search warrant out for this? Because I can sign off on one right now. We can get a warrant to... I mean, we have enough evidence here, him claiming that that's where they do all their import-exports, that they handle the gun and drug business there. I'll have Jersey uh, him and I'll admitting to that. the Russian mob. Absolutely. I mean, we you, definitely can you raid. If do a search and seizure, we can go ahead and raid that right now. Yeah, we yeah. definitely can. And uh, what's the night, right? Uh, Are we talking about the uh, Russians? Cause, uh, yes, the, the mechanic actually, shop. Yeah, the mechanic actually, shop. We've, we've got intel that they were working with uh, Dirty Cop, so they might have some... Uh, it, you know, police issue stuff in their warehouse. So I'm very Do interested. we know which cop they were working with? Yeah. Uh, I I have suspicions because there's a cop that's really close to him, but I just I'm, I'm be honest, I have no evidence uh, solid enough. Who do you really? think it is? Uh, unfortunately, my commander. No, I think it's my commander Zanley. Interesting. Really okay. Oh shit. Well, we'll look into very, that for sure. Keep yeah, an eye. So so so, Chief Grady, what you should do is request his body cam footage. Mm, what the he doesn't. He doesn't use his body cam. What? How's this possible? Because his uh his body cam does not have proper efficient efficiency be on duty and then also uh, run a body cam at the same time. Okay, so his brain can't multitask. Yep. Gotcha. Or okay. he don't have the vest that the GoPro can hook up to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So um um, assign him a partner. Oh, that's a great idea, honestly. Yeah, I actually. Like that. I sound I'm a partner. That's how. Okay. All right. So, uh, Judge, would you, I can send you an email just with the warrant. Obviously, everything would need to fall under the clause. We're only searching for drugs and illegal guns. Uh, anything else that we find will not be seized. Um, that would be illegal, obviously. But I could send you that warrant if you want to go ahead and sign off on I it. I mean, I think everything should, should be have... seized because he said... All these things, and it, and, it, and it leads me to believe, right, that this import export business is funding everything else. It could be. I mean, the only thing that I would say when I say um, only illegal drugs and guns, uh, I mean, like, if they have food in there, I'm going to leave it. If they have repair kits in there, I'm going to leave it, you know. But everything else got to go. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, um, get the paperwork over to me, dress it up, make sure gotcha. we follow the laws. And I'll uh, definitely sign it and send it right back over. I mean, well, we, we, well, we have we have it on um on body cam that you're giving your consent. So, um, yes, sir. Chief Grady, if you get us some um SWAT issue vehicles, we can go over there right now. Yeah, yeah, we can do that right now. Let me put my helmet on. Do we have the exact postal. Uh, um, uh, it's thirty. Thirty. Okay. All right, let's get it. I believe. It. Actually, uh, wait, wait. Sorry, wanna, sorry. Not thirty. It's seventeen. Seventeen. It, it is in thirty-eight. Okay. It's seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. You did a great job out there. Appreciate it, man. Scary work going undercover. Yeah. Gotta be scary, but you're getting the job done. Definitely. Everyone's had hearts like you, Mr. Watkins. Thank you. You, know, Zane, you had 10 more guys me like me, it'd be no crime. Yeah, no, I know. No crime. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't know if you were trying to hold a flat top here. Hey, everybody take Yo, a bus to LSPD, then we'll go from there. Yeah. All right. That's a long ass drive with them slow cars. I'm about to hop on a chopper. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, we could take the train back. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Let's do bike. Okay, bet. I would take the train. All right, bet. Uh, you're just gonna think warp space LSPD. Out. Hey, I'm gonna let y'all uh, conduct this work. I got a, I got a, a little one that's over here. I gotta go send to. We need send we to, need the vehicles. Uh, we need the vehicles. Ten four. Uh, I got them. Okay, we got them. We got them. Yeah, I got them. Yeah, they got them. All right. Agent, Agent Ripley will take point guard on um getting that door kicked in. Uh, sounds good, Agent Ripley. Agent Ripley, pre appreciate y'all again for the day. Agent Watkins, great work again, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank Absolutely. you. Have a good. One. Yes, sir. Thank you too. You. Be safe. Okay. Do you want to take the six by six truck there? Yes. What do you feel, Mike? Yeah, we can take yeah, the six by six. There's one right there. Yeah, they should they pull, pull multiples of these out. Ten four. Wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm... Okay, I'm on hopping yours, hey, I'm Agent Ripley. Gotcha. Chief Drizzy. Yes, sir. Um, 
we're gonna we're gonna um follow whatever unit that you're in. Okay, that's good. Do you have the postal? Yes, sir. It's a uh, seventeen. I believe. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get one more of these. One more of these. One, one more of these. Okay. I got a valet. Hey, hey, you're you're the first one. <clears throat> you're the first one. You're the first one. So um you have to um lead the line. Lead the line. Everybody um, on radio one. Dri driver it's, of this uh, one. Stay behind this truck. At all times. Raid. Let's get everybody on channel two. Channel two? Alright. Not let me in this thing. Radio check. Now let me in this thing. I'm gonna hop in with him. Okay. How the hell do I get in this thing? So, so you wanna flex your F muscle? Just, yeah, it takes it just a few seconds. Trucks are um, newly imported. All right. Let him take late. Let him take late. <clears throat> uh, the one with the gun. Okay. Yeah. That's right. All right. Go ahead. Seventeen, I believe. How am I? Wait, I'm under the map. I'm under the road. Make sure y'all got the lights on. I'm under the road. Is that normal? Hey, hey, Chief Drizzy. We're doing a raid right now. We'll uh come do. Hey, Chief Drizzy. Next. Wait, 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 man. This is not right. What's going on? I was under the goddamn road. Oh shit. You good now? Yeah, I should be. Come on. Okay. All right, let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck it. I just ride under here. Ain't no damn way, bro. Like, what? Oh, okay. We're here. Let's move in. Let's move in. Move in. Everybody stay Let, follow Agent safe. Ripley. Everybody follow Agent Ripley. Everybody follow Agent yes, Ripley. Sir. All right, gentlemen. Everybody have your weapons ready. Yes, ma'am. Everybody, everybody be safe. Watch your six in there, brothers. All right, let me get two officers to guard down oh, here. I want you to watch all the corners. Yes, ma'am. We got Terry and DiCaprio. Let's guard these steps. Third floor clear. Third floor clear. Third floor clear. I got your, I got your back. We got, got a sniper. Do we got a sniper unit? Um, yes. Agent Ripley has a sniper. Agent Ripley has a sniper. Oh, you have it? You know, I just need to get mine on the sniper. Up. Anybody else have a sniper? Uh, uh negative. One. Not right this moment, Mr. Ripley. Can I get, get somebody to take? I need somebody to take side up here on top. I'm sniper certified. Come on, sniper yeah, that's good. Go ahead. All right, let me get you the sniper rifle. Hell no. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if I have. Uh, oh yeah, actually, I should be. You good? Roger, my man. Uh, there you uh, go. Stringer Bell, you want to go down there with uh? All right, so uh, me. Lieutenant. Listen, I need you guys to be ready to breach in the unit. After you kick the door open, I'll um go in there first. Okay, bet. Um, Chief Drizzy, we'll breach, we'll breach in just a moment. Time. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Yes, Chief Drizzy, you will be in charge of um, so, um, once we get in, you yes, um, clear clear out the floors, clear out the levels. I'm gonna go in first. You come behind me, clear it out, and Chief Ripley is gonna, I mean, Agent Ripley is gonna um, search search um, their belongings. Yes, sir. All right, so I need y'all boys on my hip when we go in there. All right, we're clearing yes, out every room. Yes, sir. All right, we're calling that shit out. Yes, sir. This is the FBI. Make yourself known. We will be breaching. You have five seconds to make yourself known. Three, two, All right, come on, boy. one. Come on, boys. Load it up. Sir. Clear, clear, oh. so clear. LSPD, make oh, yourself clear. known. 
LSPD, LSPD. It's a small. Okay, it's a small warehouse. Okay. Small. Let's make sure ain't no trap doors. Let's just get. Let's just get two people in here who can document this. Perhaps maybe just me and the agent. Uh, just because the storages are so close together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get away from the storage. You want us to uh go out? Uh yeah. Oh, let's just get you guys. We'll, we'll just keep two in here, and then you guys can go out and. Okay. Uh, okay. If we need people Hard to come outside. in and, and seize, we'll let you know. Yeah, no, take work, take work. We'll be outside the door. Thank you. Keep point. Keep both sides. They could come from the water as well. All right. Why is not let me out? All right, we've got mustard in this one. Nothing in this one. Hmm. Nothing in that one. Oh, sounds like someone got tipped off. It definitely was a tip off. I know a tip off when I see oh, one. Oh man, you, did you see anything, Agent? Wait, you said it was mustard in there? Only thing in here is one mustard. You know what that means, right? They basically tell us to catch up. Yeah. They saying catch up mustard. Wow. Yeah, this was a tip off. Damn. Oh, sons of bitches. We're gonna get to the fucking bottom of this. This is horse shit. Yeah, hold on, I need to grab my radio. Wow. I actually love my radio. Wow. Dude, they got two spots, right? Well, I mean, we don't we have don't, confirmation don't of the yeah. other spot. This is the only confirmation confirmed spot we have with them. And this sure. is the only one the judge signed off on. Very clever, Mr. Petros. He's somewhere in prison it's smirking. Anybody see anybody else lurking in the area? Agents, I'm gonna take your air one out of here. Officers, chief, yes, and others in command. You guys have a good one. You're doing yes, sir, you proud today. Agent, we appreciate your help, man. Have a great night. No problem. Have a great day. Excellent fucking work today. Great work. Have a safe flight, man. All right. Thank you. All right, so look, boys, I need y'all. Right. 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 They'll be fucking right. 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 They'll be fucking right. right. They'll be fucking right. I told y'all they'll be fucking right. They'll be fucking right. They'll be fucking right. They'll be fucking right. If some of my niggas was playing a game, they'd be living. If some of my niggas was playing a game, they'd be free. Gay sale, look PC, just to keep Brody out the streets. Shit you do in real life, I do on GTA. Different scenes, when I die down there, I come back right away. If you die, you ain't never coming back. Shit ain't no game. So we both running the streets, but I'm safe and getting paid. Back to real life, my nigga. I'm a boss. You got 10 for a feature. Get 50 more. We can talk. I ain't fly on the plane till I was a duck. But my son was on a private jet, so he knew how to walk.